So, AT&T finally responding uh, to the leak of email addresses from iPads, and they sent an apology email June 13th, 2010, dated yesterday, saying that this had affected some of their customers. They're very sorry about it. Uh, they apologize for the incident and any inconvenience it may have caused. Rest assured, you can continue to use your AT&T 3G service on your iPad with confidence. Uh, and then they go on to describe how the hackers did it. And they actually describe it in some detail. They say the self-described hackers wrote software code to randomly generate numbers that mimicked serial numbers of the AT&T SIM card called the Integrated Circuit Card Identification and repeatedly queried an AT&T web address. They go on to say the hackers deliberately went to great efforts with a random program to extract possible ICC IDs and capture customer email addresses. And then they, uh, they have some more detail and they assure you that the email address and ICC ID were the only information that was accessible. Your password, your account information, uh, the attack was limited. Uh, AT&T takes your privacy seriously. There's nothing to worry about. Well, Goatsy Security, the people who claim to have done this attack, came out on their blog and said, AT&T called us malicious. They didn't like the way they were referred to. Uh, and they've been mailing their subscriber base about this. And so they started to skewer AT&T. They said, why did it take so long for them? To get back why why they had plenty of time to inform the public before the disclosure it wasn't done post patch they took forever and they try to, to claim that this breach is a lot more serious than AT&T is leading on what do you guys think do, is this a little war brewing in, in here or is this just more posturing For, I have a hard time with uh, <laughs> I, taking Goatsy security seriously when I'm also looking at their web page <laughs> <laughs> because of their logo? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's like I got to scroll down and then, you know, take a breather and go, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there, there, there's two different stories here. I mean, at the very least, I'd, I would have liked AT&T to give me a couple free months of service or something. Yeah, for, all you got was you know, an apology. And, and an email, too, which is <laughs> yeah. ironic. Hey, look at that. Um I mean, this is sort of, this is, it sounds a little bit like some of the conversations we were having last week about, you know, if there's, if there's a, a patch that, uh, you know, can close a vulnerability that's dangerous and a company doesn't do it and they know about it, I mean, that's a problem. It's a big problem. I think Goatsy Security is, is really trying to get a name for themselves, and, they, and they, it rubbed them the wrong way that AT&T called them hackers and said they had to go to great lengths. Goatsy said, we didn't really have to go to that great a length. This wasn't a hard hack, and, and they're right about that. Getting the email addresses was not that difficult. It was just a, a sort of throwing enough ICC ID possibilities until you got a hit, and then it pre-populated the uh, email address. So AT&T, I think, is trying to rub throw a little bit of this, sweep a little bit of this under the rug, mm -hmm. if you will. Like, I, know, I know that I can sometimes be a little bit of a corporate apologist because, you know, I just feel like sometimes we get hyper um, reactionary around any of these, um, you know, privacy issues for, for, and for good reason. But in this case, it just doesn't seem like a big, a big deal. It became a big deal because it was about the iPad. If it hadn't been about the iPad, nobody would have given a rip. Um, so I think this is a little bit of a tempest in a teapot, and um, it's a publicity opportunity, certainly, um, for Goatsy as they move forward. Well, that being said, you don't want your email address out there. So I see the big picture, but at the same time, it's, it's a big deal because it's the iPad. If this ICC ID yeah. could be used for something else beyond just getting your email address, then it becomes more serious. eWeek had a good story. Uh, where they talked to a couple of security researchers that said the ICC IDs could be used to determine the international mobile subscriber identities. And if that were the case, with an MZ in hand, it would be easier for an attacker to potentially find a person in an area by doing an MZ catcher. Uh, so you scan for mobile devices, you find an MZ catcher, and if you've got the ICC ID correlated to that MZ, then you know who that is and you know where they are and through that catching an attacker could potentially intercept control messages other data that might not be protected uh, 3g is pretty well encrypted but the gsm side isn't so there is no known way to directly compromise or control a user's ipad but you could get some more information about them that said this is fairly hard fairly unlikely and you'd have to be in the same general proximity as the attacker so Goatsy That's Security is not wrong when they say, hey, this could be used for some pretty nefarious stuff. But AT&T is not wrong when they say, well, it's pretty unlikely.
Yeah, that's like born identity hypothetical situation. I'm not saying it's not possible, but really? Yeah, <laughs> it seems like a, it seems like kids throwing snowballs at the old man up the street a little bit. And the old man up the street cannot understand why these long-haired hippies with the weird logo that's completely disgusting are being such so pesky and on the other hand the kids are like no nah, we know what we're doing it's a new time it's a new age and it, it feels like that on kind of an epic corporate scale and it'll probably go away as quick as we heard about it because in the end like tom says it's not it's just not as bad as they say it is these guys are trying to make a name for themselves and that's what kids do when they throw snowballs at my grandpa they should really <laughs> stop throwing they're trying snowballs. to make names for themselves yeah <laughs> Makes, Scott's grandpa. makes grandpa cold. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what 